Hello, Taurus, and welcome to Taurus Truth Tarot, where we are all Taurus all the time. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. My name is Shannon Colleen, and I am a Taurus, Sun, and Venus. And this is going to be the weekly reading for September 29th through October 5th. Can you believe it? We're almost into October. Holy crud. Um... Before we get started, I wanted to mention something funny. So I do read each and every comment, and I reply uh, at minimum with a little heart just to let you know I read it. But I was laughing as I was uh, replying to some comments this morning, and it's funny how it wants to change names sometimes. So I'll type out uh, one of my favorite people ever in the world who's been with me since my first channel, uh, Lotus Spirit Tarot, uh, Sabet, and every time I go to type her name in, it wants to change it to Babette, <laughs> and then also Winda, Winda always says hello, which is all of us Taurus, you know, blessed days, and it's so funny, because it usually wants to change it to Wanda, but today it wanted to change it to Linda, so I just find this so funny to me, that with all the technology we have, and I type out, you know, names so often that it's still trying to correct it. That is so funny to me. Anyway, we're going to get into the weekly reading. I would highly encourage you all to join our Taurus Inspiration. That is our paid membership here on YouTube. It's a monthly subscription. You can cancel anytime. Over there, we are doing amazing readings. Uh, we're doing pendulum, we're doing runes, we're doing astrodice, we're doing uh, meditations and affirmations and special readings from certain spirit guides. So I highly recommend that you do that. If you are a part of Taurus Inspiration, let them know. Tell them to come join. There's going to be the little bull icon up here in this corner. If you click on that, it takes you right to the sign up page. And there's also a link in the description box below. So with that being said, my loves, let's jump into this reading and see what's going on for the week. Divine Source Creator, what is the overall energy? Show us clearly, please. What is the overall energy for the week? Show us clearly. What is the overall energy? Show us clearly. What is the overall energy? Show us clearly. Woo! Oh, a leg up. I love that. I love that. Um, well, don't you all have something really good to look forward to? So here's the thing with the leg up for this week. It's like you have insider information. I hope I don't get banned for that because I'm not talking about stocks and bonds. But you do. You have some inside information. You have a leg up. It's like, um, gosh, it's going to be so different for all of you. But it they're kind of showing me like, I think that's in a movie. It's actually pretty damn clever. It's like, let's say you have an interview with someone, right? And it was a friend of yours who said, hey, you need to go interview there and your friend works there. And your friend tells you all about the person that is interviewing you so you can find common ground. Right now, it's not just about your qualifications. Now this person really likes you because you found common ground with them, right? That's like a leg up scenario that we've got going on here. So there's something somewhere, some information <clears throat> that you're going to have that helps you do I dare say beat out everybody else? And I'm not, it's meant for you anyway, right? Whatever this is, it's meant for you. So it's not, it's like you're beating the competition though. I will say that. Now, I don't truly believe in true competition. Um, I don't feel like you have to compete, but you know, we have to be a little realistic too. If you're going for a job or whatever this is, there's something you have, some knowledge that is coming in and some way, shape, or form, whether it's your higher self, you know, your friend tells you this information. However, this info you read it, you read up on a certain thing, it's going to help you. Okay, it's going to help you manifest. So you have a leg up right now, and I'm so glad that you do. Don't look at it as a disadvantage for others, just look at it as an advantage for you. All right, so let's get into the tarot. Show us clearly what is the message for the week for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Show us clearly, angels, guides, ancestors. What is the message? What is the message? 
show me clearly. What is the message? Ooh, I thought that was coming out. Show me clearly. What is the message for Taurus? Show me clearly. Thank you. Ooh, I almost dropped all the cards. All right. So our first card out. Yes. See, you've got some information. I love this. Ten of Swords. Um, first of all, it's an end of the cycle. So if this is something you've been dealing with that... Like, like being out of work. Okay, we're just going to keep with that example. Like being out of work for X amount of months, that's that's ending. Okay? Again, there is something here where you have information, and it's almost like you get to end this. Okay? I love to see that Ten of Swords. I do, I do. Show me clearly. What is the message? It's like, I've got a secret. <laughs> Show me clearly. Maybe that's what I'll call this. I've got a secret. Oh, yeah, look. That information has... it. You've got it now. You can move with it. Whatever this information is, you've been enlightened, and they're saying use this information to your advantage. Okay? Use this information to your advantage. It was given to you by the divine, by the universe, in whatever way, shape, or form to enlighten you and to move you forward. Okay? Now, we're not harming anybody else, right? We're not harming anybody else. That's just always the thing, right? We're not being like that. But you do have some information. And you know what? It does not surprise me, guys. Think about this. I've been saying this since the beginning of the year. Call me a conspiracy theory theorist if you want. But because a, a Pluto came into Aquarius at the beginning of this year, can't hide, right? They can't hide. The truth will come out. The truth will come out. And think about everything that's happened, especially in the last couple months. Within the big media, within Hollywood, within wherever. The, you, however, I'm telling you. Big, big, even bigger things are going to start happening. But this is not about that. This is about you guys. So, again, see, this gives you the new beginning with the Ace of Cups. That can be the job. That can be the new love. That can be the new home. That can be anything, right? But emotionally, you feel good, creative, energetic. My cup is overfloweth. And, you know, that's how I would feel. If I was out of work for two months and I had that information and I was able to go in that interview and work that interview really well and then told I had the job, that's the new beginning. And then my cup is overflowing. I'm feeling great, right? Love this. Great week. What a great week. Show us clearly. Yep, see that five of wands coming out like that too, is the conflict. It was all child's play, right? The five of wands, it, it is child's play. It's not, it's kids with wands, not men with swords, right? So whatever was standing in the way, it gets revealed in some way, shape, or form. So whatever was blocking you from whatever this is for you, because it's a general reading, um, it's gone. Removed. Removed, right? I love it. This is also can be inner conflict too. So if you have information that you need to expose, that you need to put out there, you can. Okay? You can. Now, I never try to hurt anybody else, but if someone is like lying, cheating, stealing, if you will, and your leg up is you know that that person's doing it, and you say, hey, this person is doing that, right? You're not trying to hurt that person, but the truth has to come out sometimes. All right, let's see what else is going on. Show me clearly. Show me clearly. What is the message? Woo. Yeah, I love it. It's time for you to receive Okay, it's time for you to receive with the Six of Pentacles. That is definitely like getting that job. Like I said, having that little bit more information, having that leg up and being able to use that um, for the greatest good, right? I love it. I keep going back to that job interview. Like and you know, the, your friend just tells you everything about the person interviewing you. You find that common ground. Boom, right? I love this. I love it. Just be pure at heart. That's all I'm going to say. We don't want revenge, but we want honesty. 
show me clearly. Woo! Yep. Yeah, very quickly. Fast moving week. New opportunity for sure. Look at this. Two aces. Wow. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cup. We've got the Eight of Wands. That's the communication card. Okay? So communicating very well with others. Communicating very well. This is movement and travel. So again, it could be a promotion. It could be getting a new car. And you've got the leg up on the dealership. You know, you did your research. You're not paying that much for that car. So you can, you know, however it resonates for you in your life. But this is beautiful. It's like, I've got a secret. I have secret knowledge. <laughs> Let's see what else is going on. Show me clearly, please. What is the message for Taurus? See, I said, keep, keep pure of heart. Keep your best intentions. Okay, keep pure of heart. And I feel like that is also with this love here with this Ace of Cups is, again, that feeling of wholeness, that feeling of I got the job. I love that. Show me clearly. Some of you, it could be actual love just because that came out like romantic love. And this person just sees you as... Do I dare say too good for them? <laughs> you don't want them to feel that way, but they're like, ooh, right? And then we have bridge here, successfully overcoming a problem, right? And that's what I was talking about. So if you were stuck, something, some sort of situation, you have what it takes. I mean, you have what, what you need. This week is you get what you need. Again, I feel like saying, I've got a secret, right? So with that being said, don't forget to like, share, comment. I read each and every one. Definitely subscribe and definitely come join us over at Taurus Inspiration. It's worth it. I promise all of my love, light, and blessings to you until next time.